And we're back. I'm Mabel Jong. Thanks for watching. You're watching continuing coverage of the World Healthcare Congress here in Washington, D.C. And in this segment, we're going to explore medical tourism with Shamari Scott, who is marketing director of Health City Islands. Shamari, thank you so much for your time. Thank you for having me. Is medical tourism growing in popularity? Well, I mean, we've seen it in the Cayman Islands. We've only been around for four years, four short years even though our parent organization has been around for, for decades. So we've seen a steady growth from year one, where 10% of our business would have been medical tourism, to year two, it was 15%, to year four now, between 35 and 40% of our business is actually wow. medical tourism. And what we've also um, known is the benchmark we have for places in Costa Rica that have been in the game for 20 years, their percentage of medical tourism is 20%. So the fact that we've reached 40% says that we're doing well and also tells us that it's definitely growing. 40% is dramatic. Yes. I mean, what has led to that? Well, I think it's, it's definitely um, having the right brand, making sure persons are aware that it's there. And the fact that our model offers super specialty offerings at affordable prices, other persons either previously would have gone without or wouldn't have been able to figure out how to get, get help. Now they're able to get help at a price point that they can afford. Um, they're able to gain access to the Cayman Islands. What sort of, uh, sort of uh, different treatments or uh, services yes. are you offering? Yes. And how do you keep the cost so low? So we offer a wide spectrum. So everything cardiac related, um, neuro related, orthopedics, bariatric, general surgery. So across the spectrum, we offer most um, that you would have in any super tertiary specialty hospital. And we like to say it's, it's many different things. So it's a sum of, of many parts. But the fact that um, Health City actually has salary doctors, for instance, so you're not paying consultants high prices every time they come to do a procedure. Um, we own all revenue centers, so all the diagnostics, all the pharmaceuticals we actually own, so we are able to make it efficient. Just like an like a airplane, right? It's with its yield management and such that if the airplane isn't in the air, it's losing money. From a diagnostic standpoint, we're able to make sure that it works to a point that is efficient, that we can reduce the cost. Mm -hmm. And the fact that we have our parent com company, Narayana, in India yes. has over 30 different hospitals, they have purchasing power. They go directly to manufacturers. Yeah. So we take the benefit of that purchasing power to be able to get our materials at less of a cost. And we don't keep the profit, we pass that on to reduce the cost. So just to give you an example, a knee replacement that will cost upwards of 20,000, 30,000, 40,000, we're able to offer for between 11 and 15,000 with the same exact implants and the such that would be used in the US. Okay, who would be an ideal candidate for this? So from a U.S. perspective, where we've actually found, um, I guess, the low-hanging hanging fruit are the self-funded companies that actually pay for their employee base, and they're motivated um, to reduce their costs, and they realize that if there's a high-quality, um, you know, affordable option out there that they want to access it and a lot of their employees have never left even the state before and the fact that they can take a companion come to the Cayman Islands get healed have a great time and go back is something that they really look forward to. Yeah, that does really seem attractive. Is the follow-up care also on site in the Cayman Islands so, or do you have something set up in the United yes. States to follow the patient back home? Right, so we always make sure that we keep the patient for about two weeks afterwards to make sure the range of mobility and everything is going really well. And in 98% of the cases, if there was an issue, it would happen in the two weeks after surgery. Um, however, before the patient comes, we speak to, if it's um, a self-insured company, a lot of them now have setups where they've spoken to physiotherapists in the surrounding areas. Our doctors give them our protocols. We check in with their physiotherapists to make sure everything is going right. We have a full international team that checks up two weeks, a month, two months, six months, a year later. We follow the patient to make sure everything is going well. And what sort of, um, who are the doctors that are attracted to working in the Cayman Islands? Well, from our parent company. So that's the great thing. So what we did is that we actually had Nariana Health 
functioning hospital with all of their top physicians and teams. We just picked it up, <laughs> carried it across the sea, mm -hmm. dropped it in the Cayman Islands. So these group of physicians have worked with the nurses and as such for over a decade. So the majority of our physicians are actually from, from India. Uh -huh. And the great thing that even in the U.S., if you look at the statistics, uh, between 40 and 50 percent of all physicians are either Indian or have Indian origin right now here in the U.S. as well. Anyway, yes. right. So in Mariana Health um, and in your partnership, this is our first one outside of India. Of correct. India. How did that come to Together. Well, Dr. Shetty, who is our visionary, um, who always says a solution that's not affordable isn't a solution, he was always looking to show that outside of India, he could, yes, have an, uh, an uh, effective and efficient operation that would reduce the cost. So he was looking on this side of the world to see where he would be able to set it up. And he always had a saying that his perfect hospital would be on a cruise ship outside U.S. waters. Uh -huh. Well, the Cayman Islands is only one hour away from Miami. Right. So it's the perfect cruise ship right. Um, that's right. right there that he was able to set it up to prove, and we've done it over four years, that you can offer the highest level of quality. When you look at all of our quality parameters, we're as good, if not better, than most like hospitals in the U.S. Um, and we have the Joint Commission International Accreditation, which JCO is what accredits U.S. hospitals. And we were recently... Um, we did surveying as well, and the report was excellent, as always, based on those parameters. So he's proven that you can get high quality, and our pricing um, speaks for itself. It's a third of the cost that you would have here in the U.S. All right, Shamari, may I ask also, yes. how are you finding the conference so far? The conference has been absolutely fabulous. It's always great when you can get innovative minds from all over the globe and the U.S. together in, in rooms and they can have discussions about being disruptive, about what works and how we can move healthcare forward into the future. It's always good to have it, but now the proof is going to be in the pudding where afterwards what gets implemented and what truly changes the way healthcare is delivered. All right, all right, Shamari Scott, thank you so much for your time thank today. You. Really appreciate it. Definitely. And I'm Mabel John. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned. We have much more to come.